Hi, Janet and I'd like to give you a few quick tips to help you be that uh, little bit better salesperson and close that extra sale a month that you need to get that big raise you're looking for. And I think, well, what do you think? We just start right at the beginning. How about greeting your customer? We all know that customers hate to be approached by salespeople. Matter of fact, if they see a group of salespeople hanging together at the front counter, they turn around and walk away. So the secret here, get a clipboard. Put yourself in the path that that customer's gonna walk by and instead of you approaching them, have them approach you. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea, Tom. Another great selling tip, know your product. Research has told us that 80% of consumers go online to learn about products before they ever walk into your store. How embarrassing for you if a consumer walks into your store and they know more about the product than you do. That doesn't say much about being a professional salesperson. For the stressless products, we have a wonderful brochure. Use that as a selling tool. However, to use our brochure, you've got to be familiar with it. So take time, learn the brochure. It offers a wealth of knowledge for both you and the consumer. Know your product. Yeah, that's great. You ever hear of a thing called a virtual tour, Janet? I have, Tom. Virtual tour. A virtual tour is a way that you can, as a salesperson, maintain contact with the customer. Because, you know, we've always had that part. You, the customer walks by, you, you greet them, ask them how, how they're doing today, and if there's anything you can help them with, and they say, oh, I'm just looking, I'm just browsing, I'm just killing time. A virtual tour is where you sit there and say, well, great, this is a wonderful store to kill time in. Is there anything in particular you'd like to see while you're killing time? We have our bedding is over here on this side of the store. Home office is over here. And our recliner division is right up here on the second floor. At that point, if there's anything in the store the customer really is interested in, they'll say, well, good, wonderful. I'm looking for recliners. And you can answer back, great, it's right up here. Let me bring you over there and I'll show you our recliners. And that gives you that chance to stay in contact with your customer. We have a training website, ilovestressless.com, that is designed specifically for you, the sales consultant. On this website, you'll find training presentations that will give you product knowledge. You'll find the stocking report for the current year, the exception report. You'll find wonderful pictures of our product in different vignettes so that you can print those pictures off and show them to the consumer. There's a wealth of information on this website. Use it to your advantage. Yeah, speaking about that stuff, it's, it's things like this that are really important for salesperson to look professional to their, their customer. They gotta know the things that you'll pick up on the ilovestressless.com, but there are things in your store you wanna know too. Uh, you wanna know delivery times, special order times. Uh, you wanna be able to tell them at the top of your head what are the hottest items in the store. Are you running a promotion this week? Know what that stuff is. Know what your top selling items are, know what your promotional items are, know your special order times, know your delivery times. Having those answers at the tip of your fingers to be able to talk to your customer will really make you look like the professional salesperson that you are. You're right, Tom. And as we know, professional salespeople always ask for the sale. It makes it hard to ask for the sale if you haven't done what Tom just talked about. Statistics show us that 60% of people in retail sales don't ask for the sale, and 80% of consumers don't buy unless they're asked for the sale. So if you're in that 60% that don't ask and you have a consumer that's in the 80% that won't buy, where does that leave you? Somebody told me once, Timid salespeople have skinny children, so always ask for the sale. <laughs> I like that one. Yep, you know, these are just a few hints that we have for you that will just help you close that one extra sale. Because remember, a one extra stressless sale a month gives you at least a $3,000 a year raise.